Welcome to Fear 2. After just finishing the original Fear and both of its expansion packs, it's time to move on to the second one. Just like the original Fear, but unlike Fear 3, this was made by Monolith Productions. And as always, if you'd like to play it for yourself, I'll have some links in the description. Alright, let's just jump into it. New game, gonna be playing on the hard difficulty, which is the hardest. Which is also how I played the original Fear and all of its expansion packs. However, this time, unlike the original Fears, I'm not so confident in my ability to actually not die constantly on this difficulty. So I might end up adjusting this. We'll see, I'll talk a little bit more about that once we get in-game. You've been diverted from an assignment to assist a Sfada mission in the Auburn Industrial District. Your new orders are to proceed to the private residence of Genevieve Aristide of Armacam Technology Corporation and take her into protective custody. She will instruct you where to escort her. Alma, you look positively HD. Come back here. Nice of you to join us, Sunshine. Sit down, Red. Beckett, I need to check your visor calibration. Good, you're set. What do they want this Aristide chick for anyway? Don't know, don't care. We don't question orders, Red, we execute them. Stokes, give us what you got. Our target is Genevieve Aristide, president of Armacam Technology Corporation. Intel indicates she's holed up at her penthouse. Our job is to secure the site and take her into custody. Protective custody. I don't want any breakage, even if she resists. And there's every reason to believe she might. We believe she's directly linked to the bloodbath at Armacam headquarters. Like I said, don't know, don't care. She's a high-value target and we've been tasked to bring her in, so that's what we're gonna do. I want this by the book and fuck up free. Lighten up, Top. She's a suit. What's she gonna do, send a nasty text message? She's not the problem. CENTCOM thinks Armacam's board of directors may be trying to cover their tracks, which could include making sure RSD keeps her mouth shut. Fox, you're with Stokes. Keegan, you're with me. Beckett, Red, Manny will drop you off in front of the building. We'll link up in the lobby. Shit. Why do I gotta get stuck with Bucket? Because I don't like crybabies. Now, let's move. Remember, people, trigger discipline. Our mission is to find Aristide, not cap her ass. This op is bullshit, man. What's so important about this chick that the cops can't pick her up? They'd just be glad they didn't divert us to Armacam HQ. The recon team they sent in got ripped to shreds. That situation is getting out of control. This is your stop, guys. Okay, so some initial things to mention. Uh, it's nice to see that the sound design is really good this time. It, uh, it wasn't so good in the original Fears. It was pretty good for, like, the enemies and the gunplay. That was fairly good, but there were a lot of problems with it. Especially, like, dead silence when traveling in vehicles and stuff like that. But this time it sounds really good, and also it looks ridiculously Look good. This place. Damn, 
This is some deluxe shit. I know, right? It's so good looking. Look at how many polygons are on your face and the resolution of your face texture. It's so good. You're beautiful. Jankowski? Jankowski? But, um, yeah, seriously, this game is really good looking. The original Fear was surprisingly good looking for its age, but this is even. The only penthouse I ever seen had staples in the middle. But this is even really good looking for its age. Not that it's all that old, I think it came out in like 2007 or 2008 or something. But still, really good looking. Okay, so I was gonna mention about the difficulty. So I have reason to believe that I shouldn't be as confident in my ability to play this game as I was with the original Fear, and the reason for that is because there's some weird control issues. This game does appear to have some sort of mouse acceleration type thing, and I checked the options, there's nothing in there to turn it off, and it's a known issue. When I uh, googled it, a lot of people mentioned it, and it seems that there is a way to fix it. The mentioned way is that if you turn on VSync, it seems to fix it, but I tried doing that, and it didn't fix it. And not to mention, turning on VSync caused input lag, which probably made the problem even worse even if it would have fixed it. So yeah, my ability to aim is not great. So, that could be a bit of an issue. Also, something really, really bizarre is the fact that they actually took a step back in the ability to rebind controls. So this is a newer game made by the same people that made the original game. And yet for some reason it's got some weird rebindable control issues. The original game allowed me to bind controls to mouse 4 and 5. That's the... at least in my case it's the side buttons on the mouse. So I bound the flashlight and the melee buttons to those. This game doesn't allow you to do that. And the default control scheme is wacky, so I went to rebind it to what I originally had it in in the original Fear, and I couldn't because two of the buttons can't be assigned to the mouse buttons. So, they took a step backwards for some weird reason. Which means, um... What's your status? Looks quiet, Top. Alright, we're heading inside. What the hell are you doing, man? Is that your car? No. Oh, be quiet! Oh, shit, it's gonna blow Dude, up! who do you think's gonna pay for that? You're just hurting the taxpayers, man. You wanna try the doors, <laughs> or what? I love that there's actually commentary on the crazy shit that you do, though. That's awesome. But yeah, they took a weird step back in the rebindableness of the controls. So now instead of my melee, you know, now I'm completely unfamiliar with my melee. So I'm, I'm if I go to reach for my melee key, I'm probably going to press the wrong key. So I'm going to have issues with that. You can still do this, though. It means I have to tap space and then the, uh, the C key, which is what I awkwardly put melee on. So it's going to be a bit weird. Hey, Tom. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Man, that's a lot of stairs. I think that gate's locked, dude. But you don't really want to climb all those stairs, do you? <laughs> I love this guy. See, I just pressed the wrong melee key right there. Ah, oh, I'm already doing it. I'm gonna have to unlearn what I learned for like 15 hours of gameplay. Actually, no, it was more than that. It was about 20 hours of gameplay. About 8 to 10 hours for the original Fear, and then plus 5 hours for each expansion. Beckett was busy vandalizing shit. Hell got yeah! Trouble. Let's go! Trouble? I don't see no trouble. Clear. Our intel shows this is a private elevator to Aristide's penthouse, but it's been locked down. I'll need a minute to override the system. Unless you'd rather take the stairs. Fuck that. Hey, somebody sure bled out fast. Probably took one to the aorta. The aorta? You think it was the carotid or the subclavian artery? Dude, making fun of a man for his knowledge is a sign of insecurity. We need to find Aristide now. Agree. Box, secure the lock. Red, take the stairwell. Rest of you, you're with me. The stairs? What the fuck, Top? It's like a thousand fucking stories. Like I give a shit. Need to burn off some of that weight, Jankowski. Let's go. Or wait, no, I'm not going with you, am I? What is it? Taken! Fuck! Ah, son of a bitch! 
He's bleeding. Damn it! I'll stabilize him. Stokes, Beckett, get moving. Body armor stopped most of the rounds, Top, but one got through. How bad? Not good, but he'll live. Arsenal Sorry, selection. Cannon. I think they hit my aorta. Man, give it a rest. Okay, what's actually here? Place Genevieve, yep, yep, yep. Oh, tutorial stuff? I don't, I don't think I need tutorials. Oh my god, what is with- oh my god. This game feels a little bit like a relatively poor port to PC. It definitely feels constantly like... Even just controlling stuff in the menu doesn't seem to play that well with the mouse. And things like dialogue boxes and... It seems made for a controller. And this does too. This text is freaking huge and for some reason they decided they didn't want to fit it all in one place so you have to awkwardly scroll through it. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's kind of funny and it's kind of sad, but whatever, I don't need to read it, who cares? You, huh? All right, Beckett, it's just the two of us. Stay sharp, I'm counting on you. Remember to check your targets, people. Nobody shoot Aristide. Remember, we need her alive. Contact. Or we don't get our bonus. Get ready. Wait, stop! Ah! We need backup. Oh, I love that guy. Don't give a shit if it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, so there is some interesting new stuff going on. So you can apparently flip cover. Hey, back it over here. Not sure if I'd want to actually stand out in the middle of gunfire while doing that, but you can. And there's something else that I wanted to mention, but I can't remember it. Wait a minute. Oh my god, look at that! They kept the terrible character controller from the original Fear, the one where you, like, slide down a slight decline as if you're standing on ice. Look at that. Oh! It's beautiful! I can't believe they kept that. Intel item. There's intel this time? Interesting. Um, what the fuck? You said this was theoretical. What even is this? Is this like a chat log? Oh, yeah, it's a I am transcript. Okay, thanks, bye. Here, I'll find another way in. I do not care even the slightest bit about the story in this game. Red, where are you? Still climbing stairs. That's just sad, man. No way to push. <laughs> Oh, I love this game's sense of humor. It's a lot more humorous than the original. Fear. I was from Norton Mapes? Ugh. I hate Norton Mapes. I'm at the vault now. Bad news, I think Harlan Wade is planning to release Alma. I'm carrying our plan B as you requested. Get ready for a big boom. I remember the boom. That boom was fun. Oh shit! Look at that view! I can just slide down this whole thing. Whee! This game is really good looking. Oh yeah, that's the other new thing. The sprint. So yes, the sprint did not exist in the original Fear or any of its expansion packs. There was no sprint. And this time there is. 
with an extraordinarily short sprint meter that you can see in the bottom left there. You can sprint for like all of two seconds. Yes, the armor vest makes a return. Hmm. I like the numbers representing your health and armor though. Now I just have those bars down the bottom left. It's a little bit hard to read them at a glance. Also, I believe this um, this game does not have an, a, a quick save. No, I couldn't find it in the uh, controls, and I just press F5 and it does nothing. accidentally used a medkit. Whoops. What is going on with those lice? What the hell? <laughs> They're having their own private party. Alrighty then. And uh, slow-mo does exist, by the way. In this game, I have it bound to alt. Uh, it doesn't work yet, though, so I'm assuming there's some sort of, like, a story thing that will happen to unlock it, or something. We'll see. And I believe Lean has disappeared. I can't seem to lean anymore. Not that I ever actually used it in the original, I really almost never did. Which is probably why they removed it. Oh, look at all these valuable things! Oh, hey! You can actually read it. It's high resolution enough. Mixed Media on Fabric. From Andrew Griffin, 1920. This piece could be almost anything. We're not entirely sure what exactly is going on. Griffin was nothing short of a grand master. He ultimately ingested a large amount of turpentine, leading to an early death. <laughs> Wait a minute, what do the rest of these say? Abstract number 345. Texture, color, and brushstroke play important roles in Peterson's gestural work. Here, he clearly demonstrates a powerful control of the medium. Uh, those look like diagrams of science stuff. What the hell? Did they take that from a doctor's office? Eh, oh, they're still going. Look at them. Look at them go. Do you think they'd bonk me in the head and kill me if I stepped into them? Let's try. Can't reach him. Oh yeah! Nothing like destroying a real big one. It is uncertain when this piece was produced. Best estimates place it around the spring of 1920. It's widely rumored that during this time period, Griffin did not have a clear understanding and was lacking inspiration. This piece, however, provides us with a whimsical look into the artist's broken mind. Texture cut. yep. Same thing as the other one. Oh, this one doesn't seem like an actual joke description, it seems like a real description. Passionate explosion of color on canvas. That's actually quite pretty. 
well, kind of. Seems a little bit too dark. Like, literally speaking. Kind of muddy, but, uh, kind of cool. Anyway, I think we're supposed to be shooting people, right? Oh, the other one stopped, but that one's still going. Got a couple grenades here, too. Let's throw one. Cool. Top, I'm in up the stairs. All clear. About damn time. Try to catch up to Stokes, in fact. Will do. I'm on my way up. Okay, and there's also fire modes, which I don't think the original fear had. So this one has a burst shot. Don't think I want that. What about the pistol? No other mode. Do I have a different grenade type as well? No, just frag grenades right now. Penetrator is going to make a return. That would be cool. I need help. Take cover. That's really bad cover. My God. I think about it. I think I should increase the field of view for this game. I think there's like an I and I tweak to do that or something. I'll, I'll do it later though. It's not a not that big of a deal. It's um okay at the moment. It's not terrible. That's what I like to hear. Screams of pain. Yeah, this game just seriously looks really good and the sound design's a lot better. Like, there's just a lot more noise and it feels more real. Like, the hum. You can even hear the hum of this fridge going. Really cool. I went to try out the shotgun. I'm not running into much resistance. Me neither. Guess they're all going after bucket. I got this sector covered. All quiet. <laughs> Poor guy. I don't think I'm supposed to be on this lip here. Please take me down without killing me. Please. Thank you. Ah. I'm stuck on something. What the hell? There we go. Oh, yes. And I believe... There's no flashlight battery. That's my super fast clap. Beautiful, I love it. It's a shame when you hit a lot of things, it doesn't make any noise, though. It's very unsatisfying. Let's go for a swim. I shouldn't have gone for a swim. Oh god, I'm gonna drown. He's been there for 12 years. Floating in darkness. Be careful. There's 
a lot of them. Head for the master bedroom. There's a hidden door. Oh, shit. Someone's stabbing the signal. I wonder if there's permanent health upgrades and stuff. Like the original fears. Oh, hey. How's it going? Shouldn't sneak up on people like that. You can give them a heart attack. Ooh, priceless art. I can't destroy it. You're flanking me, aren't you? certainly don't lack for ammo. <laughs> the kitten calendar. Oh god, is that the papyrus font? Fuck no! I'm thinking there might not be the permanent upgrades anymore that you can find, because these are the exact look of the med hypos that you'd find that would permanently upgrade your max health capacity. Except in this case it says health full, which means I think they're actually just like mini med kits. Not the medkits that you take with you, but just like mini heals. I feel naked without being able to save. As if if I die, I'm gonna lose like an hour of progress, but. Nope, nope, nope. Checkpoints. It's got me covered, I'm sure. Fancy moves, dude. You brought a leg to a gunfight. Go to bank, remove necessities from safety deposit box, pack overnight bag. Place EMS helicopter on standby, just in case. Well, she obviously intended to get the hell out of here. Genevieve! can't go on. She's too dangerous. You're telling me to seal my daughter away. You knew it would come to this. We both knew. Genevieve. Oh, check this out. So this little uh, floppy bit on the trash can actually does have a hinge. That's not what I meant to do. Ah! Shit, wrong, wrong key. I meant to do melee. So you can do that, but you can also do this. No, do it. It's not doing it. I tried this before and it worked. I can't do it anymore. I did it once and it like flipped around at like 2,000 miles per hour. Anyway. Can I take a shower? Nah. Oh, hi. Secret room. about a subject. Paragon review scores. Telesthetic potential. Outstanding! Sergeant Michael Beckett. 
Subject struggling in school, but has excelled in the military. Furthermore, his Paragon scores are the best. He might even surpass Paxton Fettel. Right, Paxton Fettel was the only one actually approved to basically guide the uh, the clones, right? To telepathically control them. Like, no one else was actually able to do that. So I guess uh, having the right traits to do that is rare. So this guy's pretty good too, but his mental stability is only average. Eighty-three percent synchronized with Alma's his telesthetic signature. Telesthetic signature. Hopefully, he doesn't have doctor's writing. Hi, Sergeant Beckett. Where's the rest of the team? We don't have much time. You and your squad are the only hope of stopping Alma. My god. It's her. That stubborn son of a bitch probably just killed us all. Sergeant Beckett, what's wrong? What is it? Get them aboard. We don't have much time. Your mission was rudely interrupted by a catastrophic explosion that seems to have originated in the Auburn Industrial District of Fairport. The extent of the damage is impossible to estimate. The fate of your team is a mystery. No, I think I know what happened to them. They died. Eyes are still dilating. He's reacting to the meds. Check the dosage. This shouldn't be happening. That doesn't work? What's going on, Dr. Miller? One moment. Hold the light again and check his pressure. Damn it. Grab the crash cart. <laughs> God damn, I hope you have malpractice insurance. Charge to 200. No, no, make that 300. Dr. York. He's alive, but we're moving too fast. We, we need Just to... Get it done. That did it. Stand by with that morphine. Four megs. Where are we at, Dr. York? It's tachycardic. We need to stabilize before progressing. There's no time. He's unstable. Progressing now would be a mistake. You're putting... Set to three hundred. You'll feel a little pinch. Now. Thank you. Where are you? 
wonder if that surgery gave me the ability to do slow-mo. It did! I knew it! <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if it was the surgery itself, but, you know. Something. Result of whatever the hell happened there. Oh, the painting in the bathroom fell down. I'm spooked. Patient M, back at recovering from surgery at unprecedented rate. Virals are nearly back to normal. Dr. York has been paged and should be here as soon as he's done with the final activation surgery. Oh no, it is the surgery that did this. The patient wakes up in the meantime, explain that he was medevaced from blast zone. Do not let patient leave room. Ha! I don't open doors with the handles, I punch them open. Like a proper gentleman. Hi, Alma. Mm, how are you? Outstanding, excellent, above average. Oh, lots of potential people. More people to go crazy and cause me to have to put them down like the sick telepathic dogs they are. I feel safer already. This is actually kind of creepy. Normally the fear games haven't creeped me out, they've just been more ridiculous than anything, but this is actually kind of eerie. I don't know whether I'm even really alive and if this is real or not. I don't know, this just feels strange. I mean, where is everybody? Okay, I need to find a weapon, right? Reconnect with your team, find a weapon. Are my fists a weapon? Oh, I just went in here. But did I go in here? No, I didn't. Still no weapon. Hmm. I want to punch these really badly, but I think they would explode. So, let me suppress that urge if I can. Where the hell do I go? I actually don't know. Oh, probably here. <sighs> Ceiling panel. Oh! 
Okay, this is the game of the year all years. I can punch toilet water! This is future technology. This isn't just next gen, this is unprecedented. Outstanding, average above average. Harbinger status, reserve. What the hell am I hearing? Somebody was screaming. The first three activation surgeries appear to be, have been a resounding success. The fourth patient, Red Jankowski, is still in pre-op, but the others are recovering in separate wings to minimize pre-conscious telepathic interference with each other once they're fully awakened. Staple will begin the attunement process. Michael Beckett in particular is proving uncommonly resilient. We sure we'd lost him twice on the table, but then he stabilized through no action of ours, I'm sure. Oh, that's probably Alma that helped me out. Okay, so I guess my entire party have been picked up and performed surgery on. I'm guessing most of them probably won't make it. Or haven't made it. I suppose the surgery's already done. Maybe that was what the screaming was. Ew. The bloody foot footprints come from here, so I suppose it's probably safe now. If we'll be seeing any fallout from this, probably shouldn't talk over email. Yeah, don't talk about your illegal psychic procedures over email. <laughs> Better yet, just don't perform the surgeries in the first place. No thanks. I don't want to be pacified like that woman. I still need a weapon. Sergeant Beckett! Thank God you're okay. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to get you to the TAC lab. Hurry, and be careful. Vanek's men are attacking the facility. I can't believe he'd go to this extreme to cover up evidence.
This facility has just come under attack by Black Ops teams under the direct command of Colonel Richard Venick. Evacuate. Um, oh, it's from Genevieve Aristide. Arist Aristide? Aristod? Something. Careful, Sergeant Venick. You're about to stumble into an ambush. This is a secure channel. Identify yourself. He must be monitoring us on the security cameras. How much of this junk we gonna burn? Ooh, weapons. Okay. I could take these weapons. Here's the thing. I could take these weapons and shoot them. But I want to end this episode right about here. So, let's end it with style. Let's punch the enemies to death in slow motion. I didn't mean to pick that up, but whatever. I'll use melee. Yeah! Very well done. I see why they picked you. Who the hell are you? You could call me... Snake Fist. <laughs> Snake Fist? Are you fucking kidding me? Snake Fist? Hey, I don't know who else is listening, and I'm not taking any chances. You people need to get out of there. <laughs> Snake Fist. And her reaction is perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, so I'm gonna end this episode here. Yeah, um, so far, this game is... I, I don't know, I'm actually really, really liking it. I'm actually liking it more than the original Fear, kind of. It seems kind of... campier. I mean, the original Fear was ridiculous. It's a really silly game. But the thing is, it seemed to take itself seriously. This game doesn't seem to take itself seriously, and I really like that. It seems to recognize that it's absolutely ridiculous, and it seems to be reveling in that fact. Yeah, this is really good. I like it. I don't like the fact that they took a step backwards in terms of the controls, in terms of, like, the, the mouse movement and the rebindable controls not being able to bind to mouse 4 and 5. That sucks. But so far it hasn't been a huge deal. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. A lot more fun than I expected to. I was expecting it to really just be more of the same as the original Fears. But it actually feels fresh. Which is... No kidding? Refreshing. Alright, so, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.